Hey Camaro family, check out this Camaro Boneyard that we found. So lots of fourth gens and uh, one GTA third gen at the end. We'll show you at the video. Let's go check them out. Uh, the first Z28, Harley style front end. This thing's been smacked in the front. Unfortunate. This one is a hardtop car. This C28 is a T-top car. T-tops are there. Wow, look at this growth on these. Uh, this one actually is in pretty good shape. I mean, considering the body panel wise. The rest of the car, not so much. Automatic. Well, wow, look at those tough seats. The seat covers, though, I see there's seats under there. Wow. Door slam as well. All right, so here's a hard top Camaro. Later version. So these front ends were actually redesigned for uh, crash test standards for pedestrians. So they have the plastic headlights and they couldn't, uh, the reason they changed them was they couldn't have glass headlights anymore. So uh, that's why, that's one of the things that drove GM to redesign the front end and use these plastic headlights. It was for pedestrian crash test standards. If you didn't know. Five speed in there, stick speed. Sounds pretty good. Red Z28. Hard top. Some of the pieces have been removed. The quarter panel's got a dent in it. Six speed. Headliner, unfortunately, is gone. The service parts identification, SCID label. And then this one, this Camaro is all set up with a cage. cage was installed and just never ran the car. Somebody's got to need one of these with a cage in it already. And the parts are removed from it to be a race car. This would make a really good race car. Front end got smacked a little bit, no problem. There's lots of front bumpers here. Our top car. actually opens. Alright, well, let's go look at some of these. Firebird. Ah, look at that front end. This thing's cherry. This one's in good shape. Body-wise, got the growth over here. Look at that interior. Need some TLC. Nice, the body's there. Let's go check the Camaros out up here. Firebird. This is a 28 it's actually in pretty good shape, body-wise. Back here.
Check out this other stuff. This is this thing modified, but that one's not available. Ah. Z28 slammed. Got that lowering kit in there. Must be a front wheel drive. Obviously I'm kidding. But, uh, check out that crossfire injection. This one's got the leaf package. It's got all the leaves in it. Plastic wrap. On away. The door still opens. The weather shield needs to be replaced. What do you think? Ah, it comes with extra tires and cobwebs for Halloween. Oh, there's the crossfire injection intake. There's some lug nuts if you need them. Those have been sitting there. I got the sway bar hanging out. Let's go take a look over here. WS6 Trans Am. Missing the wheels. Sorry for the finger in the way there. Ram air hood. LT. And then there's the third gen GTA. This thing's been sitting out here for 15 to 20 years. Supposedly, when it dropped off, it was in good shape. The paint was looking good, and then it just went away. Got some surface rust there. It's got that moss growth, it's got the moss package. got primer and a little bit of patina so apparently this car came in with a gold wire wheel zenith on it it's got all the pieces unfortunately it needs a lot of restoration so no low ballers we know what we got that common rust and paint goes away on this trim around the rear window. Let's take a look inside. Do you want to look inside? Let's go for it. It's got that custom steering wheel. Oh, there's the problem. I left the key on. T-tops obviously have been leaking. Optional partial seats. The seat belt is very crunchy, so it's been wet a lot. Yeah, got those cool covers on the top of the seats. And 
203,000 miles. Let's look under the hood. If you'd like. Oh, that's weird. There you go, that's what I felt when I put my hand under there. Wasp nest. Automatic. With a TPI. Body sequence tag. These were the sequence the cars were built in. They weren't built in the sequence of the VIN number. They were built in the sequence of this tag on the radiator, on the production assembly line. All right, I think it's arm day. I gotta get the hood lifted up. So it's got the typical shock problem. All right, well, there's uh, another Camaro fortune over behind the camera, but uh, thing's a six cylinder. I'm gonna get a couple pieces off of that car. But that wraps up the, the fourth gen and third gen bon boneyard over here. This is what's left. We'll have to look and see which cars we might wanna take home and which ones we'll pass on. What do you think? You have a favorite? Leave it in the comments.